Welcome to Unity, where cultural diversity is sought after and explored. Enjoy a two-part series as Duke Ellington School of the Arts presents artistic interludes for our First Lady, Michelle Obama, and Russia's First Lady, Svetlana Medvedeva. Enjoy this clip as Michelle Obama thanks the staff and the students of Duke Ellington School of the Arts. And now after that fabulous student performance, what could we possibly have for an encore? I mean, what could we possibly follow up with to match such creative artistic expression? I'm thinking of two international champions of the arts, two who understand that arts education is a critical component to the well-being of every nation at this time. It is my honor and privilege to bring to the stage our two very special guests, Mrs. Obama and Mrs. Medvedeva. Thank you all so much. I, I don't know if I can top that. I wish I could sing and dance or give you something a little bit more, but all I have is my thanks. It is, is truly no accident that so many students are thriving here at Duke Ellington. It is no accident uh, that just about every student at this school graduates on time and goes on to college and to do so many other amazing things. That is due uh, in a large part to the educators who work here. Um, and it has a lot to do with the families and all the support systems. Yes, you all can sit down. Please rest yourselves. Uh, so we are just grateful to everyone who makes this school possible. Uh, you are the pride of this city and of this country. And it has just been an honor for me to show you off uh, to our guests. And uh, I also uh, you know, want to thank our guest, my dear friend, uh, the First Lady of Russia, uh, Svetlana Medvedev. Uh, we have become friends over the course of this year, and uh, she and her husband graciously hosted our family in Russia last summer, and they treated us so well. Uh, and one of the many things that we did is we, we went to a wonderful performance by the world-famous uh, Moisev Dance Company in Moscow, uh, and it was truly truly a treat. Uh, the girls got to come. Grandma was there. Uh, it was wonderful. So I wanted to treat her to something special. <laughs> so I brought her here to see all of you here to Duke Ellington today. <laughs> and you did not disappoint. You did me proud. Duke Ellington, way to go. <laughs> President Obama and the President of Russia, our husbands, have worked hard to strengthen the cooperation between the United States and Russia. Uh, they are two amazing men uh, who are building new bonds and changing the world in the courts, and so much of that effort is rooted in their mutual respect for the people of the United States and of Russia. Uh, and that's why I'm so pleased to have this opportunity to return the hospitality that my family received and sh to showcase the extraordinary young people uh, that are here at this school and in this city. Uh, it's important for the world to see. As your principal has so eloquently put it, students here, and this is a quote, have the essence of what uh, made this country great inside of them. Uh, you all the students, the staff, the administration here uh, embody everything that we hope for in our young people. Uh, we know how hard you all work, uh, putting in long hours in class. It's just amazing to think about the time it takes to practice and to create those kind of performances, but then uh, you also have to show up in class, right? <laughs> There's still chemistry and math and writing and research and all of that good stuff. Uh, but 
you know, it's such a thrill to know that you put the work in, not just during the year, but to make this performance special. We know how accomplished you all are producing great works of art because the, the school isn't just about music and dance and song. There are beautiful artists here, and I got to see some of the works uh, in some of the studios, and there are some fabulous artists here, uh, including uh, uh, the performances of the Duke Ellington Choir. I think we've really worn you guys out because <laughs> we have you at the White House almost all the time. I think of every time we want some young people there, we're like, call Duke Ellington. <laughs> And that includes uh, performing at my husband's inauguration, where your show choir brought down the house yet again. Uh, you know how the arts can enrich all of our communities and the country. And you know how the arts can connect us to each other like nothing else can. Uh, you know how people who come from completely different cultures and backgrounds, people who might not even speak uh, a single word of the same language, uh, they might still be drawn together when their hearts are lifted by the notes of a song uh, or a vision on a canvas uh, or the graceful arc of a dance. And I think that should give us all cause for hope all around the world because we know that ultimately Relationships between nations aren't just about relationships between presidents and prime ministers or first ladies for that matter. The real uh, foundation of these relationships are about the connections between ordinary citizens, uh, particularly between young people. Uh, you all are leading the way in this movement. That's why engaging young people across the globe is such a priority for me and I know it is for uh, Mrs. Medvedev as well, uh, because her country, like ours, is a place that cares deeply about culture uh, and about the young people who carry it forward. I know her family is a lover of music and jazz, and she's a pianist, and her son plays the guitar, and they have music all throughout their home. And as I travel around the world, I want young people everywhere to know that the United States uh, believes in them and cares about their future. It is so important for us to continue to lift up the next generation, not just here in this country, but your peers around the world. And as I travel across this country, I want young people here to understand how important it is for them to learn about other countries and cultures. That's so important for you all. I know there are seniors moving on to college, but one of the things that I've talked about at every commencement speech that I've given this year is that take the opportunity to explore the world. Uh, get out of this country. Uh, <laughs> because there's just a wonderful opportunity for personal growth, and for community growth, if you come back uh, and bring back the knowledge that you gain when you're educated in the world. So take advantage of opportunities to study abroad, to visit friends who live abroad, make friends from other countries. Uh, just never be intimidated by the world. It is yours as well. Uh, and hosting my friend, my fellow First Lady, and sharing your gifts with her is just one small example of how you all, right here, just in this auditorium, have already made a difference. Uh, just in this performance, you have strengthened the bond between two great nations. Imagine that. So, I am so very proud of you. Stay tuned for our next clip as Michelle Obama introduces Mrs. Medvedeva.